Jingle bells ringing in my ear. Jingle bell a sound that's oh so dear. Frosty the snowman is all around town. Watch out for rain, these are falling down. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Leslie Ann here. If you're new to my channel, then thank you for stopping by and to all my regulars. Thank you once again for always supporting my channel. Uh, today I am doing my, well, I've made my Christmas cake, as if you've been with me for a little while, you know I've made my Christmas cake. Um, today I'm going to marzipan and ice it. It's time, it needs to be done. So, let's do it, shall we? Right then guys, so I'm just leaning down to, <laughs> to chat to you, um, but I've put the camera down low so that I can show you what I'm doing. Not, not that you don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> right, so first of all, I've laid my, I've had this for years, this uh, sort of a silicone thing, mat thing that I just roll out my pastries on and that sort of thing. It's got some measurements. I've got the ready to roll marzipan. Um, I've gone for the golden one. That's just my preference. It's just, I prefer that one. Right, my hands are clean. I'm going to just pick my cake up. There we go. I'm just going to give it like a little measure so I, I know how big it is and how big I want to roll it. So I want to roll it to not that one, not that one, but that one. Uh, 27 and a half centimetres. which has been made for a little while and been fed considerably. So I shall start by popping a little bit of icing sugar on the top of my little mat. I'm just there, be great, thanks. I intend to do this in one piece. So I've rolled out the marzipan, that's all done now. Um, I've got, I haven't got any apricot jam. Um, I forgot to get that, but I have got some marmalade in here. And I'm just going to brush this over the cake. I've also got a nice cup of coffee, which I'm going to be that. So I'm going to, rather than brush the cake, I'm going to stick some of the marmalade on and just brush it over the marzipan. It does have little tiny, tiny, tiny little bits in the marzipan, but that honestly is going to be fine. The cake itself, you know, it will just taste lovely in the cake anyway. There we go. So I'm just going to literally turn my cake that way. Move that a little bit. There we go. And then I'm just going to make little sort of a few little slits on the edge just so that I can sort of fold the marzipan back a little bit easier. all down me now look I should have put my pinny on and I didn't never mind right so what I'm aiming for is just to get it all up the side of the cake first before I really sort of sort it out and make it neat Okay, so 
What I want to do now is just pour out a little bit of the icing sugar. And I'm just going to use this to sort of smooth around the edges a bit. Just to pull it all together and to make it smooth. So I'm just literally rubbing my fingers into the icing sugar. And then sort of just, as I say, just going over the little creases, the little lines, those little cuts just to blend those together with the other side of the marzipan to make it smooth. I mean, we've all got our own ways, haven't we, of um, decorating our cakes. And then I'm just going to trim off some of what's on the top. So I don't need all of that bulk underneath. If you find any bits that you need to sort of stretch up and blend along the way as you're doing this, then, you know, just that now's the time to do that, really. I find this so therapeutic, you know. I just love, I love baking. I love baking more than I enjoy cooking. But I do like cooking anyway. <laughs> So I'm just going to just literally rub the rest of this icing sugar just to smooth these sides out a bit. I mean, this is going to be covered in icing anyway. And of course, I have a ribbon, so you're not really going to notice it's not, you know, neat, neat sort of thing. And then I'm just going to pop a little bit on the bottom and this is just to stop it from sticking on the grease proof I mean it shouldn't stick to that anyway but you know um, it's add a lot, had a lot of alcohol into this cake so just to make sure it all doesn't stick in a moment when I pop it upside down on the um, grease proof I crack on with doing the icing. Years ago, I wouldn't have attempted to ice the cake on the same day. I would have let the marzipan dry out and everything, but it's honestly not necessary. It's absolutely fine to do it. Right, there we go. And then you can just, like you've got a wheel of cheese, <laughs> you can, you know, just almost roll out those little joins and there we are and so the top is beautifully neat okay so i'm just gonna ooh, pop that over there and i'm going to start on the icing so just make sure there's no marzipan on the board or anything make sure none of the fruits come out of the cake I will come back and show you what I've done. Maybe I'll come back in between and show you what I'm doing as I go, okay? Okay, so I'm starting off with green ready um, icing. So I've just cut that bit off because I've just broken that bit, but it's too long anyway, so that's okay. So that's what I've done. I've just rolled some out. Um, I cut the width that I wanted, so I'm just going to take my cake ooh, and just have a look and see how 
where I want to put it. So I'm going to put it there, across the middle of my cake. So I just need to pop some, a little bit more of my, um, my marmalade on there so that it sticks. I kind of got an idea of what I want to achieve. <laughs> I don't know whether it'll actually work out like that. But hey ho, let's, uh, let's have a go, shall we? I'm going to take it all down the side. There we go. And this side. Okay. And then just take... Icing and I'm just going to trim about there. I have got a lazy Susan. Um, but I'm being a lazy Leslie Ann because I should have got it out. That would probably have helped, but you know. There you go, I don't need to. Right, I'm gonna quickly turn it over. And I'm gonna pop a little bit of the um my, oh no, what have I got it, marmalade. I'm just gonna sort of ease it over onto the bottom there. Same on this side. my green bit down the middle of the cake. I'll come back when I've done the next bit. Okay, so I've done it. I've actually finished doing the cake. I'll show it to you in a minute. Um, I didn't sort of show everything because I wasn't really sure how exactly, uh, well, I had in mind something. Wasn't really sure how I was going to achieve it, what I was going to do for absolute definite. So I kind of had a coffee and pondered and, you know, fiddled with this and fiddled with that as you do. Um, but I've done it and in a minute, I will show you it. Before that, I've got all this to clean up. It's on the floor. It's all over my jumper. Oh, it's all over me. <laughs> so I'm going to clean it all up. So I need to give it all a good clean now, and then I will show you what it looks like. I'm actually, I'm actually very pleased with that. Okay, so what I was trying to achieve was like a snow scene. Um, a snow scene in a garden. So you've got your little grass path going up to the house and there's a great big fir tree right in the middle of your garden, right next to your house. And of course, because it's in the countryside and because of all the woodland around and it's remote, you get all the deers come and visit you every single day, but much, much more around Christmas. That's what I've tried to achieve. Let me show you. Let me know if you think I have. This is the garden. And so you've got your grass there. And then it leads to the front door of the house. But Mr. Winter has had to come out and he's had to shovel snow just to keep a nice pathway there because it's very dangerous for Mrs. Winter if he doesn't do that. But the snow came down a little bit heavier again and of course it's blocked the pathway off a little bit so you'll have to get out there again tomorrow to clear that but the reindeers have come to visit so there's two there there's one behind the house can you see the antlers and then there's one nestled oh, there he is behind the 
tree. And this is the great big fir tree. Look at it. It's enormous. But it does help to keep some of the snow away from the little cottage. What do you think, guys? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I'd love it if you could. Bye-bye, my lovelies. Bye. Jingle bells ringing in my ear Jingle bell a sound that's oh so dear Frosty the snowman is all around town Watch out for rain, these are